Hi, my name is Michael James, and my friends call me the Grape Meister. I've been growing grapes and making wine for a number of years, and in this video series, I'd like to share those experiences with you. I'm going to briefly cover the following material. I'm going to show you why pruning your vines is so important, why weed growth has to be controlled, why good soil is not that important, the basic method of pruning, and why the variety of vine makes a difference, and the equipment that you're going to need. Pruning grapevines is an essential part of growing the plant and therefore in making wine. Pruning your grapevines might seem like useless work, however, if you want to grow quality grapes for wine, pruning is an essential activity. Even though you might think that proper pruning feels like you're cutting away the major portion of the vine, it's the key element that will assure you a good harvest and good tasting wine. When that happens, you're in for a treat. Remember, the taste of your wine has little to do with your skills or expertise as a winemaker. Rather, the secret to great wines is the top quality grapes, which will result from the proper pruning of your vines. As you may know, pruning grapes is just one part of the grape growing effort. Of course, just like any other crop, you need to ensure that weeds and other unwanted oak growths are not siphoning off too much of the nutrients intended for the grapes. Although grapes intended for winemaking grow best in a soil that is deficient in nutrients, the grapevine plant still needs specific nutrients to grow and develop. Even though you will see growth as soon as you plant your grapevines, it will take about 36 months before they'll start to bear fruit. So the care you give them initially will yield quality grapes in subsequent years. Once your vines are established, they will produce grapes for winemaking for many, many years. By pruning grapevines, you help the plant to develop. And as more shoots sprout, the vine itself will be primed for further growth. But with too many shoots, a grapevine will unnecessarily consume more nutrients than necessary. By pruning, you allow only the strongest shoots to form the arms of the vine, which will be attached to the trellises and where the fruits will someday grow. You see, ideally, grapevines should be composed of only one main shoot, while other tougher shoots will grow on later. By pruning the vine rigorously, you will cut off all the other shoots that develop prematurely. Pruning will shape the vine as a whole and thus improve the overall productivity. The method you use to prune your grapevines will depend a lot on the variety of grapes you have planted. If you've planted hybrid plants, you will not have to prune the vines as vigorously because it is genetically designed to produce fewer shoots and leaves than the European variety. Hybrid grapes need only to be pruned if old canes and spurs from last year's production are present. When pruning, you will need equipment like hand saws, lopers, and pruning shears. Always remember that pruning should not be complicated. It will result in a bumper crop if it's done right, and it sure is worth all your effort, especially when it results in your own vintage wine. For a free 10-part mini course on how to grow grapes and making your own wine, go to my website, www.totalwinesystem.com. Really, it's free. Why wait? Do it now.